Howdy folks, we are looking at getting into creating VR content, and uh, so our first foray into this is with the Pro 10 HD from 360 Heroes. So there's the rig in the box, and uh, 10 of the GoPro cameras. Now fortunately we had uh, some a number of friends who were able to loan the cameras to us, so we didn't have to actually go out and buy 10 Euro 3s. That would have been uh, pretty expensive. Here's the unboxing of uh, the Pro 10 HD. Got a nice little blue leather bag. And then there's the uh, Pro 10 HD itself. Yeah, it was uh, interesting. It wasn't exactly what I expected. It was uh, the plastic was a lot harder, and uh, that uh, proved to be challenging when we were actually loading the cameras, which of course we'll see later. A little clicker there. Uh, as it mentions an audio sync camera mount. Really uh, nice screwdriver there, which is for basically unclipping the cameras from the rig later on, I'll show you. And uh, I'm still trying to figure out exactly what this pen is for. It's got a little nib on the top, a rubber nib, uh, I guess if you were gonna write on a tablet or something, but again, what we use it for specifically for the camera rig, I, I don't know yet. Still getting into that. When we first started loading the rig, we didn't notice that there was a little notch that is supposed to fit in to the corresponding notch on the on the GoPro and uh, again the only way to, to fit the GoPro notch into the rig is that you have to really tweak the the plastic holder in there again as I say I kept thinking we we're just gonna snap those things off it's billed as being this high strength aircraft grade flexible nylon and uh, as I say, we, when we got over our fear of the things just snapping off, uh, it did in fact bend and uh, allowed us to just to fit all those in there. But as I say, you, you, you kind of ha have to get over that initial fear that you're just going to snap them right off. And here you really start to see that th there's all these cam there's essentially nine cameras that are um, in this spherical positioning on the camera rig and then there's just the one camera that's facing down and I'm not really sure exactly why that design is like that I mean we're gonna be finding out as we as we go out on shooting with it in fact one of the positions for the camera mount is actually in the number 10 camera position. And so if you screw it in there, you actually lose one of the camera positions. So I'm not really sure what's going on there. Um, but as I say, we're, uh, we'll find out when we start shooting. One of the concerns we have is stabilization. Of course, the Hero 3 does not have stabilization in, in the camera, unless we can mount the Pro 10 HD into some kind of gimbal. I'm not sure how stable our footage is going to be, and that's kind of a big concern. We also talked about a dolly. You know, I, I, I have a dolly that uh, will run either on pneumatic wheels or actually on a track as well. You know, some of the some of the footage that we've seen of people walking around with these things, it's it's not really comfortable to watch because of the because of the camera sh shake. So uh, as I say, that's a big concern of ours. So now with all the cameras loaded into the rig, we're charging up the batteries. We're gonna get ready for our shoot. As I mentioned, the ports on the camera are exposed, so we're able to plug in the USB cables without having to remove it from the rig. Also, uh, media and so forth is uh, all accessible. Thank you all for watching. When we have something interesting, we'll be putting it up here for you all to take a look at. Thanks a lot.